they're going woke. And I was like, yes! I was like, no, that's not the woke. That's not the woke that we know. That's not consciousness. That's not awareness. That has nothing to do with the original melanated form of the higher state in connection to the supreme being. That's what woke really is. Your mother and father, the black man and the black woman. Does that make sense? That's what true wokeness is, but of course, like virtually everything else, they decided to commandeer it, steal it, give it a completely different meaning, and destroy what we have built up in a positive manner. Does that make sense? We don't get into the politics of things because the most honorable Lord said that politic means multiple blood cells. Say that one more time, y'all was like, man, that was a whole word. The most honorable Lord Muhammad said poly. Tick meaning multiple blood cells. So politics is a game that people get into. Who are going to vote for now? Who are you going to vote for tomorrow? Did anybody change your condition? But you keep voting. You keep voting. Your ancestors died for you to vote. Said who? Don't ever disrespect us like that. Right. They died so that they could vote for another slave master. Right, basically. Right. That's right. No, they died because there were such things as slave masters who would not give us the ability to be human beings. And they deprived us of such a thing and they put an institution in place to make us believe that there was a way out through that. When the reality is, if you don't have tangible things that you own, tangible things that you control, Tangible things that you manage and build, your independent schools, your independent hospitals, your independent businesses, entering into international trade and commerce, you cannot call yourself a free being. You will always be a slave if you do not own your own things. Does that make sense? This is why exactly when you start talking about show me something physical. Why don't you just... We'll give you a statue. That's this <laughs> We'll name a street after one of your people. We'll give you June. T In the spirit of speaking to children, 
Since I landed yesterday, I have received now 10 Amber Alerts. Can I say it one more time? Yes. 
They take control of our environments because we refuse to. And if we continue to do that, we can't even blame them for doing what they do. It's what they do. And I'm not referring to the police per se. I'm referring to those with this sick mentality who traffic children and traffic women and organ trafficking and different things of that nature. So I have to bring that up because, again, we just got hit with number 11 in less than 48 hours. That's a problem. So brothers and sisters, please protect your children. Please. And protect one another. Because once we argue on the internet, it lets the enemy know that we don't care about each other, which makes us open targets. <laughs> Do you hear me? Yeah. Brother, we didn't come here and you preach, okay? Yes, we did. 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 Let's get into something that I know something else, but I have to make sure I give you that because it is very The unity of our people is paramount, meaning it is seen above everything else. As of right now, we know for a fact that this government is turning on everybody. Everybody. It don't matter if you're black or white now to a degree, they don't even It matters if you speak the truth, if you stand up for what is right, or if you go along with the plan. You hear what I'm saying? When they start attacking their own white cousins, I should let you know, then yep. let's start planning. Yeah. Because if they come, if they come after their own, then that should let you know. As the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, our unity is more powerful than a hydrogen or an atomic bomb. People quote things all the time, but have any of you been in the military? Quick question: Have any of you ever seen an explosion of thoughts? Oh well. Moab, the mother of all bombs, Moab. With it. Okay, the power that that flows off when they see the unity of a people, they back all the way up. I'm stressing this point because it's going to get to a point. We failed the IQ test over the last three years. What was the IQ test? Say it again. Say it again. Some of y'all like brother. I had to work. I had to work. You know We're not here to come down on my people who took the shot, trust me. So that, that's, that's not what we are about. All right? We're not immature like that. You got different situations and different realities. People have children. Some of you only get one paycheck. And you have to struggle to get that paycheck and you were threatened with that paycheck. If you didn't take the shot, and you got two children to take care of, you got sick people to take care of, you have elders, family got one car, everybody relying on just you, you have to make a decision. It was a sacrifice. I understand. I'm going to say this again to all of you in this room. I understand. Satan is not playing no games. And it is very real. And everyone in this room has faced it, whether they wanted to or not. It has become very real for you. Some of you, it was a little easier. You had a way to get around it. But for the majority of people, they could not get around it. And the enemy knew that. That's why he pressed you the way he did. But I'm saying to you now, for the next round, that they're talking about. Don't you ever let them press you again.
and now they're calling it disease X. Check the names. Disease X that they coined over 20 years ago, mind you, but now they're saying we don't know how to prepare for it. Of course, vaccine 30,284. So what do you think they're going to offer you as a solution? Y'all going to say it? Y'all been in there so long, y'all don't want to get shut down my post. Right? <laughs> You know what? On the count of three, I want y'all to say it as loud as you can want to say it. The big B word. One, two, three. Vaccine. Oh, right. You're doing that now. Like, yes, I'm going to take it down. You might, you might, you might. Their solution is always something bad. The enemy always comes in the name of heaven. Satan comes in a way where it looks like he's going to do you a favor. I'm going to help you. Help. Ronald Reagan said the nine most terrifying words are, quote, I am from the government and I am here to help. <laughs> Ronald Reagan said, Google it right now. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He said the nine most terrifying words are, I am from the government and I am here to help. When you see some of these artists and celebrities, let me make this warning to all of them very clearly. Talk about it. We gave you in the hood, we call it pass. Yeah. Spirituality, we call it grace. Yeah. That's Old Testament. But what else is, no, pardon that's New Testament. But what's Old Testament? Fire and brimstone, law. I will tell you this now. To all of the black artists, I'm warning you, do not put on for Satan. Don't promote his poison to our people ever again. Do not encourage us to take something from him. Don't you open your damn mouth. I'm going to say like the honor of Jesus Christ. I said, all you scared to death people. Just say that. Don't you come out to defend our enemy. You sit down and you shut up and tell your master to come on out and deal with this. That's what Farrakhan said. We back that up all day, every day. Don't take kindness for weakness and do not take mercy for a complete, elongated past. You will not be able to do this and go unchecked. Because the blood of the people is on your hands because you're siding with Satan. I got the list of all of you. And you think you gotta just sit here and just keep going to your concerts, keep going watching your damn punctified stanky movies? Y'all mind if I get through? Y'all see, because they don't get the calls from the families. You don't work with these parents dealing with their children in the hospitals. They took the damn shot 12 hours later, they're seizing and going crazy, and they die right at the damn table. You don't know what that feels like. Come on, not talking about, oh, I'm actually doing what the government says, safe and effective, safe and effective. You sound like a damn man. <laughs> safe and effective, safe and effective. You don't have any idea what you're talking about. You know nothing. And I'm talking about those of you with PhDs, too. The same is too many of you. There's a reason why spiritual leaders give us the knowledge and help us to see what we don't see because we think we got it with all of our PhD white man science. Right. You think you got it and you step out with what you think is the right knowledge. You make a big mistake and then you don't even have the decency to apologize. These shots have now been verified Lord. to have killed over 500 pounds. Wow. The shots are now coming out as being illegal in some countries. Yes. Europe is banning them in multiple countries in Europe. Yes. Currently, Pfizer is being sued because of a patent infringement. Yes. Moderna is being sued, pardon me, because of a patent infringement. These countries, these leaders, and tons of whistleblowers 
whistleblowers words are coming out saying they knew about it beforehand. You knew about myocarditis. In the trial data, it showed what was happening to the hearts of children. In the trial data, it showed what was happening to the women and their miscarriages were as a result of the damn shot, and you knew about it. Due to a Freedom of Information Act request, you knew, and you kept pushing. So any of you who think you're doing the right thing, there comes a time where you will not be able to keep the people off of you. Don't say that in the reason. Don't say, don't call Farrakhan now. Brother Minister, I told you July 4th, 2020. Go ahead. Minister Farrakhan, in the criteria, July 4th, 2020, go watch it again. He told the Pope, he told Xi Jinping, the leader of China, he told Donald Trump of America, he told all the African leaders, when they come out with a vaccine, do not take it. Right. And he said, if they force this on us, we will take that as a declaration of what? Oh. Simple as that. Simple as that. Slay, you can't wait how much more time have I done? Two more Just two minutes. Make the virus more. 
more able to go from animal to human being. Something called gain of function research, sponsored by the United States government, just like with AIDS and other ones. You think you're dealing with a different enemy all of a sudden? Same damn enemy. Stop trusting him. For the love of God, stop. Some of y'all got a white girlfriend and just think it's okay. Your next president 
will more than likely be pushing to remove the dollar and replace it with digital currency. Some of y'all got Bitcoin. I feel relax. Brother, don't come for my Bitcoin. <laughs> Who made Bitcoin? Like, okay. Some of you have Bitcoin. Not a problem. Just know for a fact that the Federal Reserve will not allow you nor I to build up high amounts of wealth without getting a piece of it. Are you serious? <laughs> they gave for a minute. I told everyone, I said, yes, it's decentralized, non regulated, all that nice stuff. Yes, but they're going to get their hands in at a certain point. And what they do, they are now coming out with something called Fed Now. Mm -hmm. Raise your hand for this. Y'all should have y'all follow me or to bring any Should. Fed Now is the digital version of the new app that the Federal Reserve, the Federal Reserve is in the app game now. Now they don't ask for Federal Reserve. Found no cash that was taken out. He was also one of the top executives on something called mobile coin, which was going to rival Fed now. Do you understand to you? You think they're gonna take people out still? They are making it to where you will get this one way or another, and the only way to prevent it is to not use it. Y'all hear what I said? You have to resist this and not use it because Satan is doing his best to continue to enslave the people one way or another. And I'm going to speed this up really quick. Neuralink. Raise your hand if you've heard of Neuralink. I should. Thank you. In the game. Thank you. This is smart. Because we're studying, it's good. Knowing is one side of the back. Being prepared is the other. Neuralink was just approved for human trials less than 72 hours ago. And I told everybody who was able to see any post that we'll put up that Elon Musk took over Twitter, sure. For freedom of speech, and yeah, it's about half of it. The other way reason was to gather all the data from people. You're here. Yes, sir. Voluntary. How we think, our behavior, our patterns, all of this, to get a simulation of a human being or an avatar to put inside of this digital system. They were saying we're going to approve these brain chips so that people who are paraplegic, who, who can't walk, can use this brain chip to help to stimulate the muscles and nerves in the legs and help them to walk better. Does that sound nice? <laughs> they give a damn about people being able to walk. Satan always comes in the name of God. The brain chip is very old. It is an old technique. You have to know someone by the name of Louis Jolly West. Louis Jolly West, an insane psychiatrist, a Caucasian professor at UCLA, who is doing brain drilling experiments and putting electrodes in the brains of black and brown men. And if they exhibited some kind of behavior he didn't like, they would shock them. That was UCLA. It's very old technique to control the brains of the people because that has been the number one thing they have always wanted to freak the brain. Control the minds of the people. Do y'all hear me? That is coming. Get ready for it because a lot of people who are in control of very critical positions affecting our daily lives will be involved in this. You see it in tons of movies, all the way from Minority Report, all the way to Demolition Man, yeah. Kingman 2 with Samuel Jackson. It's a very real thing. Manchuria Canada, you name it, it's a very real thing. And again, the last thing I want to say, I know there's a lot of things that are trying to run through this. The disinformation doesn't. How many of you heard of that? Yep. That's the list of brothers on yep. from the White House. Yep. There were 12, and now there are 11 left. Yep. One of the only brothers on the list, Dr. Rashid Batal, passed away about four or five days ago. He said three days before his passing, he said on video, I was poisoned with five kinds of venom. And what they put in my body is roughly 200 times the amount of that which are in the COVID vaccines. He said, and he said, if I die, just know they did this to me. This is very real. Because the next wave of what they're trying to get to the people, they know you got 12 people standing up exposing everything Satan's doing, along with the laundry 
long list of others, but they're looking at the people on the list. I'll be damned if you come this way and I'll do nothing about it. Y'all should have been clapping at that. I got it right here, ready to get you Let the enemy know that you are willing to stand up for yourself. Because what we are doing is right. And if you stand up for what is right and they try to attack you for it, then keep standing. I have to take it off of every one of their damn platforms. They made a dime from them. I don't give a damn. I don't do it for the money, obviously. Because I would have shut up a long time ago about the stuff that I was getting taken down on. Right. Ain't that right, Mr. Big? Like, if he had tried to get monetized on Facebook, they was like, mm, I don't like that. <laughs> I was monetized for like two weeks, and they was like, nah, we don't get to take them off. So as I close, family, this is a, a mentality that we have to get into, which is self-preservation of our people, unity among our people, no matter what the label is, of course, foundation of black American, of course. Of course, not a bad thing. Don't get that twisted. However, we have our family who may not go under the label, but they will go under attack the same way. And we all are going to catch this smoke that the enemy is trying to put on us, and we have to be willing to stand up. And I mean this. Stop talking about it if you're not willing to be about it. I end with saying that those of you who are going to vote, <laughs> what's that to me? Without tangibles? <laughs> you have people who are going to run for president, but you have something called finishing schools that are above fraternities and sororities. You have different clubs that groom the top 1%, porcelain club, fly club, speed club, the clubs that Franklin Delano Roosevelt came out of, the JFK, you name it. Remember, as the Honorable Minister Farrakhan said, and many others have said this as well, the people who rule America were selected before they were elected. elected. That's right. Never get this twist. Yeah. You think, Same not way. all of you, but generally, the people watching, you think that you voted this person in. No. They work for who funds them. And as long as pharmaceuticals are in control, as long as the international bankers are in control, and the wicked manipulators of the mind or psychiatrists are in control, we will continue to face this situation. But as long as we stand up, as a people collectively united, then we will be able to get out of this condition because I don't believe these people are gonna free us like that. I don't have the trust, nor do I have any kind of faith in the system, do you? Be careful. Some of you do. When I say I have no trust nor faith in this system at all, I mean that. But some of us have to reevaluate the fact of whether or not we trust this system, because some of us do without really knowing. Mm -hmm. This is not the system that is going to free us. We have to come together and free ourselves. Woo! Yep. Yep. So I will leave you with that. I pray I was able to give you some answers, some solutions, some clarity, some confidence, some courage there for your feet. Let me know we are one people. Let me know we are one people. Y'all don't have the wristbands, we got some 
Waffle House syrup. Delicious. It's delicious. It's really good. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, give yourself a round of applause. Thank you so much for coming out to the FBA Expo. Good night, everybody. Much love. Happy New Year to all of you. Give it up, y'all. That's it. FBA Expo. Hello, true. Come on, DJ.